Hello, I am Andrew Bootnuckle, and I have assembled a team of investigators. Each of them has their own skills to bring to the table, and every one of us has come together to reveal the truth. We look in the dark. We look where everyone else fears to look. Because we are investigators of scary places. Okay guys, why are we back at school? I thought we were on break. Well, Kachow, can you think of anything at school you like to do? Um, the arts? Well, it just so happens that we're going to investigate the arts and communication. Oh my gosh, I have to read my mind! <clears throat> um, oh, sorry, I heard like, um, let's go see the tour guide and see what's up. Well, hello everyone. This is what used to be the Arts and Communications Academy. Now, it's just the Senior Academy. Alright, awesome, so why don't you show us where the activity is going on and we'll take it from here. Sure, why don't we start here? You see, there have been reports of sounds like knocking and... People have also said that they've seen things roaming around the halls. So this is the choir room. It's the home of the artsy kid ghost. He was a student here a few years back, and he was very exceptional at all kinds of arts. But choir was his favorite. So what kind of activity is going on in here? Well, some people claim to have heard singing, even when no one was here. Well, this is our last stop, the auditorium, but you're not permitted in there. Well, do you think we can get a tape recorder in there? We might be able to work something out. So, what is the name of the ghost and what does it do? His name is Steve, and he likes to mess with the lights. Well, not for the drama people. Mostly choir and band. If they're having a concert, he, he messes with the lights because he doesn't really like them. Well, thanks for looking around. Um, we'll get down to business. Okay guys, this is all split up into two teams. Um, telepathy, how about you take the choir room and the guys and I will take the halls. Okay. Alright, well, let's go. Dude, this is some pretty cool artwork. Hey, let's get back to the investigation. Oh, sorry. Okay, hey, let's go down the hallway. So, did you pick anything up on the thermal yet? No, I'm not yet. Wait, we have thermal? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, Andrew, how do I look thermal? Fantastic. Oh, dude, it's, it's a ghost! Oh my god, god. run! Run! Figure. We examined the evidence very closely. What stuck out the most was the audio from the auditorium. Arts. With this new evidence, I was compelled to look deeper. So I went to the students and staff to look for the answers. I personal, personally believe that the arts are important, um, especially in schools. Because with all the academics happening in schools, which are also important, kids need an outlet. Oh, the arts are incredibly important in education. Um, they promote creativity in students. For some of them, that means more tactile art, like you know, painting, sculpting, drawing. For other students, that means performance art. I believe that in many school districts, especially districts where the local economy is suffering, I feel that they have cut music programs and arts. I think we're very fortunate in Evergreen School District that they prioritize fine arts. So, have you seen or heard anything strange around the arts department? Any paranormal activity? Heard some whisperings, but I've never seen anything myself. Well, thanks for coming, guys, and uh, have a safe trip back. Well, thanks for having us here. Of course. We have finished our investigation and have found out that there are spirits of the arts. But why are they here? If you would like to help find out, support the arts.